What's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Crackin' It's Deep. I'll see react to this vid by Chiggs. It's titled, T.I. and Young Dro press and almost fight their homie for laughing at his addiction battles. What? What? This is random, but okay. Uh, I haven't heard from Young Dro in a long time. He has some bops. Uh, but but yeah, let's see what, what happened. I don't know he had an addiction problem, but let's watch. So, you, you, you almost overdosed. Yo, I did. No, you know what I mean? And, and um, overdose or all, of, all of these things happened. The overdose. Um, my daughter was on drugs. And, you know, career-wise, I wasn't aware. I wasn't aware. Of what, <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What's up with your man, man? Hey, you finna get slapped. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we cool, but I slapped you. Oh, oh man, I'm just, I'm just telling you. Hey, you me now. What, what you want to do? There's a time and a place for everything, Ooh. and we all have those friends that we can't even take to a funeral. Wait, it's not like he said his daughter was addicted to something. Am I, am I sure? I was on drugs. And, oh, they both was on drugs. All these things happened. The overdose. Um, my daughter was on drugs, and you know, career-wise, I wasn't aware. I wear some work. What is this? What's up with you? That's a weird thing to laugh about. Hey, you finna get slapped. <laughs> I mean, we cool, but I slapped oh, by that. Man. Oh, oh man. man. I'm just I'm just telling you. Hey, cool. you slap me now. Now, what, what you want to do? There's a time and a place yeah, for everything. Slap me now. And we all have those friends that we can't even take to a funeral because if someone makes a mistake, they're going to be rolling on the floor laughing. And sometimes things aren't all that funny. Uh, I don't fuck with people like that. I get that sometimes people laugh at inappropriate times. I understand that. But there are just some things that you shouldn't laugh about. And that's a wild thing. He's saying that he almost overdosed. He could have died. And then he mentioned his daughter. She was also, you know, struggling with addiction. And he's laughing. That's weird. <laughs> that's weird as hell. I wouldn't want a friend like that. So it's like you're you're happy and you think that it's funny that I almost died and my daughter was addicted to drugs. Like, what about that is funny exactly? Especially uh, being interviewed at the Breakfast Club. As what happened here, as Young Dro and T.I. were being interviewed by the Breakfast Club about something serious like sobriety and T.I.'s friend in the background cannot contain his laughter. And maybe finding some type of humor T. I. with Young too. Dro and his problems is a good thing if you're all friends. But laughing at an issue with his daughter is no laughing matter, and Young Dro would address him directly. What's up, y'all? Is your man Talkless World reporting for the Chicks Move channel? We gotta talk about this. When the most serious things are being talked about, it's actually the most difficult times to not laugh. But here's Young Dro talking about his sobriety at the Breakfast Club. When, when, did, when did you decide or what got you into rehab? When was that, that <clears throat> call and said, this is the time? Because, right I mean... Too? For my whole career, I, I would see Dro in the club with me every week, and Dro is performing. Dro is at every stage. You were you were the epitome of an artist because you were out. Yeah. Um. Well, I got tired like of the same things, like you know what I mean, like over and over again, getting high and saying I'm not getting high and you know repeating, repeating. <laughs> 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 Struggle. Man, 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 and that clearly shook him up because he almost died, it sounds like. And you laughing at that? And he said he had slapped the shit out of you. still up? I'm confused. Actually, I overdosed. You feel what I'm saying? And um, I used the I used this platform with the, with the thank God to... Uh, <laughs> 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 what was that funny? 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 That's your problem, right? That's your problem. Crazy, man. He's a mechanic. King Doug. <laughs> Every time Young Dro they mentions his drug problem, T.I.'s friend in the background you audibly laughs, you. which takes away from the seriousness of the moment. But if you're at an interview and you don't have a microphone, you should probably shut up. When that yeah, friend in the background laughs, it almost went left. Take a listen. <clears throat> so you so you so almost, almost overdosed. Yo, I did. You know what I mean? And, and um, all, of, all of these things happened. 
the overdose. Um, my daughter was on drugs. Oh. And, you know. Okay, okay, okay. I, I was confused at first. That he played it out of order. So it sounded like he played this part that's playing now, and then he like started the interview over, which made it kind of confusing, but whatever. Um, so... Now he says he's going to publish it. I wears a wear. It's the same thing. I wears a wear. <laughs> what is this? What's up with your man, man? Hey, you finna get slapped. <laughs> okay, yeah, so he got irritated. Okay, this makes more sense. So it, it sounds like he let him get away with laughing a couple times. And then when he laughed, when he mentioned his daughter, that's when he got real pissed. That's what it sounds like. But Because I'm like, why is he laughing after he said he was going to slap the shit out of you? And like... You clearly was was capping. You didn't slap nothing because he kept laughing, but no, he didn't. Watermark. I mean, we cool, but I slapped sh- by that. But it says almost fight, so apparently he didn't. Oh, oh man. man, I'm just I'm just telling you. You cool. gonna slap me now? now what you want to do? You ain't gonna slap me now. What yeah. you want to do? You gonna, you gonna hurt yourself? Yeah. Don't let him take you out of your mind. Silver drill. Oh, no. Y'all remember bite me though. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, both of y'all. Oh, y'all. Everybody came in with me. Hey look, everybody came in. I need to see the me. visual. Hey look, everybody came in for me. Hey look, remember who you came in? Remember what stuff. we doing here, man? Come on, man. But they're not showing it because they copyright their visuals. So Together, I'll man. look it up later. All right. All right. I'm sorry, guys. First, first of all, real quick, congratulations on being Absolutely. two years old. Yeah, like I was saying, three, three, three. three I'm yeah. approaching four. You feel what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. like, uh, like all of these things happened to where it made me want to actually seek something better you know what i mean so when i took myself to rehab out in la um did a couple months out there and it was cool you know what I'm saying? i got back out and i was still tempted to live that kind of life is he laughing again did he snicker tempted to live oh, that kind of life but <laughs> i saw what was in front of me and i was like this is more valuable than what's behind me. then young Dro's friend asked ti's friend to step outside and T.I.'s friend declines. If you want attention during someone else's interview while they're talking about their sobriety, you should bask in the opportunity to be able to go outside and get all the attention you want. There's a time and a place for everything. T.I. did an amazing job maintaining the egos involved and calming the situation down. Charlamagne the God and Envy didn't even know which part of it was a joke and which part was serious. Because they're laughing because the friend is laughing. Maybe this is the type of friend that you just leave in the car or outside or not even invite to the breakfast club at all. Are you able to control your laughter when there's a serious situation? Let me know in the comment section. When it's pertaining to my friends, family, people I care about, if they are speaking about a struggle that they've had that I'm already privy to, if this is your friend, you already know about this. I'm not going to laugh while they're describing their struggle, especially when it's something this serious. So, no, I wouldn't laugh at anything like this. I've laughed at inappropriate stuff, but it's usually people I don't know, to be honest. It's like <laughs> I'm watching a video or, or something of some strangers, and I'm just like, all right, I'm not laughing at this. Or I, if y'all laugh, y'all go to hell. Like, I'll say that, but it's it's people that I don't, I don't know. But my people, like my friends, family, like somebody I'm dating, like, if they're talking about some serious shit that affected them and that almost led to death, like, I'm not about to, ah, this is so hilarious. What the fuck? That's some weirdo energy. I don't know. That's just me. Some people might try to excuse it and be like, oh, well, sometimes you laugh from nervousness or, you know, you don't mean to laugh, whatever. I don't care what you're talking about. If you even have the urge to laugh at someone you love, their pain, some some is off with you, <laughs> and I w- I wouldn't trust you around me honestly. But I don't know. That's just my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.